Mumbai Tech Link, Agami Dev Labs in uh, Shariatpur, Bangladesh, has truly been um, an amazing experience. It was beyond what I imagined um, a community can do if they come together uh, and have an aligned vision. So um, just uh, उद्बोधन करते जाएगा I wanted to share my recent experience at uh, the government um, Golam Haider Khan Women's College on July 30th, uh, 2022. Um, uh, it was truly uh, fascinating for me to to uh, relate uh, with the people um, that were um, at the inauguration of the first uh, computer lab um, at this college. Um, it should be stated also that um, uh, this in fact is the first uh, college uh, dedicated towards the education of women um, in the district uh, built uh, in 1994 uh, by my father. So uh, me returning on um, the 30th of uh, July 30th of 2022 to establish the first college, uh, the library at this uh, college uh, and um, ICT sector. Um, it uh, it was a, a for me a great privilege, um, and uh, the privilege also stems from the fact that um, it is aligned with the greater um, ICT vision, uh, which is to create. Uh, technically advanced um, uh, workforce. So I'm very uh, optimistic um, of how um, this all will transpire. And um, you know, as as has been established across the board, uh, this is just the beginning. And um, there really is a lot more to come because, um, along with the ICT, like the national ICT agenda, um, uh, this. Event was actually this project. In fact, was actually a demonstration of how uh, common people can come together and actually change the trajectory or or transform the trajectory of the wider community. And so, you know, this is uh, uh, the beginning of uh, towards the empowerment and a technically advanced women in Shariatpur, Bangladesh. So I'm very excited and um, uh, thanks again to Mr. Akhtar Hussain, uh, the current Chief uh, of Administration at the college. Um, and thank you uh, to the ICT division for instilling in us um, a shared vision of a digitally advanced uh, Bangladesh workforce. Again, that was one of those things that everyone thought impossible because Bangladesh was technologically so backward at the time. We have again proven those critics wrong and today Bangladesh has really taken off in terms of the IT sector.